Hello and welcome to another episode of the Filipino Genealogy Channel. This video will briefly discuss a few of the changes that were made to the results of Ancestry DNA as well as some new features that were added to make your Ancestry DNA experience better and fuller. And there's also a good news about shipping of kits from Ancestry DNA to the Philippines. So we will discuss these briefly in the next few minutes. All right, first off, good news to those who are interested to get Ancestry DNA kits sent to them right here in the Philippines. In one of our previous videos discussing which of the DNA testing companies can send kits to the Philippines, Ancestry DNA was not one of them at that time. But over the next few months, Ancestry DNA updated the list of countries where they can send kits to and right now in this particular list you can see that the philippines is one of these countries where ancestry currently offers their kits so for those who are interested in getting an ancestry dna kit sent directly here in the philippines you can now do that so one of the first updates for the DNA results of Ancestry DNA are its estimates. One of the changes in the results of the DNA estimates, or ethnicity estimates that Ancestry DNA provides you is the addition of Portugal as one of the ethnicities given in my uncle's DNA result. Originally, there was no Portuguese estimate here, so based on this latest update aside from the usual uh, common estimates that we already saw in the past now there is an addition of Portugal about 1% estimate and originally the Spanish estimate was lumped into 2% uh, together with the Basque but now it also broke down the estimate for Basque and the estimate for Spain uh, into 1% each so that's there's a very small change in the DNA estimate, but if, if you're lucky enough and your DNA estimate probably changed quite a lot, then you might have additional ethnicities to your result or the percentage might have changed. The second major update to the results of Ancestry DNA is we are now able to know which side of the family, whether it's from your maternal or paternal side, that you get a certain ethnicity from. On that note, because Ancestry is now able to delineate between the mother and the father, they are also able to assign which side of your family you are related to a particular DNA match. Let's take a look at it. So in this case, my uncle's results show parent 1 with 352 matches and parent 2 with 121 matches. Now obviously, if you are not familiar with the ethnicities of either or both of your parents, this would not be very helpful to you. But if you are familiar with the ethnicity of at least one parent, for instance, for parent 1, there appears to be more more ethnicity estimates here compared to parent 2. So now parent 1 shows that if you take a look at the ethnicity inheritance per parent, parent 1 here, only one side. So parent 1 has the Spanish estimate. The Basque is also from parent 1. Now if you take a look at Portugal, it's with parent 2. My uncle's parents both have stories of Iberian ancestors. The family with the most connection to Spanish heritage and that has been proven with documentation is my 
maternal grandfather. So obviously, if we take off uh, Portugal and go only with Basque and Spain, then I know for a fact that parent one is my maternal grandfather, while the one with Portugal is parent two. Now, this coincides with the oral history on my maternal grandmother's side that states they are descended from either Magellan or one of Magellan's crew members who was left after the Battle of Mactan. Whether that's true or not, we cannot prove it, but this jives pretty well with oral history that has been passed on through the generations on my maternal grandmother's side of the family. So, now that you know who is parent one and who is parent two, then you can now go back and look at who these relatives are. So, parent one is my maternal grandfather. So, all these 352 matches are matched through my maternal grandfather. While these 121 matches are matched through my maternal grandmother. Now, if you notice that if you go down, you will see unassigned relatives. And there are 5,992 matches that cannot be assigned. In other words, they still need more information. Perhaps in the future, as they say here, you may see updates in the future, in which case some unassigned matches may be assigned to a side. Those are the updates for Ancestry DNA. First, they already ship to the Philippines. So for those, again, interested to order DNA kits from Ancestry DNA, you can now do that and you no longer need to go through either a third-party courier or to have someone, you know, in the United States to send to you the kits. Now you can order it online and have the kit or kits delivered to you directly to the Philippines. Second, there are updates to the ethnicity estimates. Some have minor updates, but some also have major updates, like an additional ethnicity estimate, like in the case of my uncle, where the estimate for Portugal, even just for 1%, was added to the ethnicity estimate of my uncle. So that's, that's a major change as well. The other major change is the ability now to pinpoint which side of your family, whether it's parent one or parent two, that you get a certain ethnicity estimate. And because of this update as well, you are able to now tell which relative is related to which parent. So there are some kinks that need to be fixed along the way, but for now, these are very welcome updates. And the best update, of course, is that Ancestry DNA now ships directly to the Philippines. So that's it for this short episode discussing the updates to ethnicity results as well as updates to some of the features for your DNA results with Ancestry DNA. I hope that this video has been helpful and please don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you have not yet done so. Thank you for watching and you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.